Hi guys, Paula here. So I decided to uh, show a little bit more of who I am. Um, as I said, my name is Paula. I'm your tarot reader for the channel Polythene. Um, I am also a health and wellness coach, a Reiki master, in the process of becoming a yoga instructor as well, as well as a meditation instructor. So all about healing, focus on yourself, you know, helping you, passing you the message that we are all love here and all we have to do is love ourselves first of all and then everything around us just um, transmits that energy as well, okay? So I do hope you enjoy your reading. Um, I will leave in the description box below as well my website if you want to have a look into my website, see if there's anything interesting there for you. And let's get on with the reading. Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Here we are for the month of June 2021. For all the new people out there, welcome to my channel. Uh, I invite you to like and subscribe to my channel. And for all the returning ones, welcome back. Thank you for trusting my readings and thank you for being here once again so as i said we're starting for the month of june 2021 we are starting here kicking off right now with the archangels seeing what's the energy for you for the month of june so we're starting here with indigo and the crystal children okay so there's something about this uh, card this sensitivity for your group for this month. So we have Indigo and Crystal Children with Archangel Metatron. So definitely you have a bond with children, especially with um, children who are sensitive, okay? Most likely you are as well, of course, Aquarius here, very communicative person, you know, you like to, you like to be included in your community and probably some of you actually have this a special bond in your community dealing with children or maybe you have even in your family or on your relatives okay or maybe your own children as well so definitely metatron here it's the it's the, the archangel as well that it's very caring for children about all your intuition your love so definitely here metatron is connecting you and giving you this special message okay so let's see what is the main theme for you for the month of June? Let's see the tarot, what it has to say for the team for Aquarius for June 2021. Okay. What do we have to say? What can we tell Aquarius about their theme for June 2021. Let's see what we have to say. Two of coins, balance, looking for balance. I'm, I was calling to take another one, okay? So looking for balance, two of coins here, okay? The need for had to have balance between your, your mind and your emotions, okay? The, the air and the water, mind and emotions, all about um, having this, creating this balance here, okay, uh, to look forward, to move forward, a big, there's, there's a big calling here as well to connect with your, um, your root chakra, okay, your foundation, your survival part, survival part of you making a decision here, but then it's a decision that it's as it's calling you to be uh, balanced before you make any decision here. Okay, with this, we also have the King of Wands. King of Wands ready to move forward. He's very secure of himself. Okay, he knows exactly what he's going to do. It's a very strong and very fast energy here, just like you as well. So if this, this feels like for you, a lot of uh, Aquarius, you're ready to move with something. You're ready to make a decision, okay? But before you make that decision, before you move forward, because once you start with this King of Wands energy, there's no turning back here. We definitely encourage you to have some balance, okay? Just 
blend your ideas, your opportunities, like in and young here, okay? Have a good um, view and understand what's on your side, what challenges could you have, what advantages do you have, okay? Pros and cons, all of that, so that you then your next move, it's wise and conscious, okay? And let's see here, what do, um, what Aquarius need to overcome for this month? What do you need to overcome? What do Aquarius need to overcome for this month? June, 2021. To overcome, message to overcome. Okay, message to overcome, we have the five of wands, okay? Normally this card tells about competition between you and others. Right now, that's not what I'm feeling. What I'm feeling here is competition with yourself, okay? You probably have a lot of ideas. You have a lot of visions. You have a lot of things that you want to accomplish that you want to do. So the message here, what I'm feeling is pick one and stick with it, okay? And go again, this finding the balance, okay? The main theme of the month, finding balance. And it's actually uh, being very accurate here. So need to find balance. They need to pick one thing, okay? They need to realize that you can do everything, but once you do one thing at a time, okay? This is what you have to overcome here. I actually want to take another card for this five of ones, ace of coins, exactly. So in order for you to come into this um, prosperity and abundance, okay? There's definitely the need to pick one thing at a time. You will be definitely successful with this eight of pentacles here. However, you need to stop fighting against yourself, okay? You need to make peace with yourself so that this prosperity, this confirmation can come, all right? Let me see now what the fairies have to say for you, Aquarius. It kind of feels here that um, I'm feeling as well this Archangel uh, card. It's also telling with this Archangel Metatron, there could be something here that um, you are fighting against or, or maybe some stuff they're taking too long and that's what you want because Archangel Metatron as well is the Archangel that assists us to slow down or speed up things. Okay, so what I'm feeling here is that he's, he's inviting you to slow down things, okay? And, and for you to be more sensitive about your feelings, your sensations, your harmony, okay, your emotions, your thinking, so that everything is aligned, it's balanced. So what we have here from the fairy is light. The fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. So if there's a lot of issues here that you're not understanding where to go, what to do, what's your next step, which task to do, okay, ask upon the queen, the fairy queen of light, because she will bright up your ideas and she will show you the way to go, okay? Let's just get then as a final card, the dragons. And this one was very, very strong to come out. Actremus, so beautiful, pale, and it's wonderful. It reminds me of um, kind of the moon color, you know, with the universe there in the back. So number 23. Actremus. Actremus is the galactic dragon which connects with the Arturian, Arcturian civilization, who in short are the peacekeepers of the galaxies. This beautiful dragon announces himself as I am the dragon Actremis of the seventh gold ray dimension. We are keen in Atlantean dragons. The Atlantean dragons were seven dimensional but choose to work with the fifth dimension beings of Atlantis and oversee the raising of its vibration to the seventh dimension. If Act Actremis has joined your reading today, heed his words. 
you are being put on notice that the time has come to begin the process of integration, the seventh dimensional golden ray energy and initiate the progress of anchoring its frequency into your being. This will enable you to shift the old layers of the 3D energy allowing natural releases to take place and so heralds the next phase of your incredible journey. Holding a, cl a clearer vibration allows us to view the world without judgment, to be at ease with oneself with the ability of fully letting go. By accepting him into your life, you are acknowledging that you are ready to shift all DNA coding and integrate the higher vibration within your work and life. So Arcturians, okay, from other galaxies here, connecting to your soul, to your heart, showing you that there's more than you, what you actually see here, okay? And he's um, assisting you with that, okay? This actor is assisting you with that and is, is inviting you to let go what doesn't serve anymore. Okay, so you can actually move forward into your next phase. So definitely you're ready for your next phase. However, this this why it's coming all this, the need to find your balance, okay? The need to slow things a little bit so that you will be fully ready for your next step, okay? Pick one thing, find the light in your darkness so that you can move into this yes confirmation into the new to come, okay, that it is your journey, the next step on your journey, okay, this is a really good reading, there's a beautiful, beautiful message here, I really hope you enjoyed as well as much as I did, and I appreciate you being here listening to this reading, let me know in the comments below how you feel about this, like and subscribe to my channel, and until next time, have a beautiful, beautiful day.